It was a warm welcome for one of Haiti's most notorious rulers. It's confirmed, this woman shouted. Former dictator Jean-Claude Baby Doc Duvalier was suddenly and unexpectedly back in Haiti late Sunday after nearly 25 years in exile, waving to supporters but saying very little. When asked why now, his longtime companion answered for him, saying, why not? Duvalier took control of Haiti after his father, Francois Papadoc Duvalier, died in 1971. Both father and son ruled through violence, torturing and killing thousands of political opponents. Family members would denounce other family members. There was definitely a climate of fear. Nineteen members of Marlene Bastien's family were killed during Papa Doc's reign. She left in 1981 after speaking out against Baby Doc's government. Did you fear for your life under Baby Doc Duvalier? Oh, yes, yes. Haitians danced in the streets when Duvalier fled the country in 1986, but that was then. Now, with more than 800,000 living in tent cities, a deadly cholera outbreak, and riots over a disputed presidential election, some look back on Duvalier's rule and remember security and stability. But most don't remember it at all. 70% of the population is under the age of 30. Duvalier claims he has no political ambitions and only wants to help in the rebirth of his country. The timing is a concern. A State Department spokesman said this adds unpredictability to Haiti's election process. Duvalier reportedly, reportedly only plans to stay for about three days and says he'll explain his visit to reporters tomorrow. Harry. Kelly Kobe in Miami tonight.